Each year, interest in this art competition for incarcerated adults and youth has grown. So a decision was made by the Multi-Faith Council to look for venues to present this rich and diverse work to the public. The opportunity to have the work featured in the Community Gallery at the Art Gallery of Southwestern Manitoba is, in some ways, representative of the growing understanding of how important it is to connect with the outside world at a level that is not wholly defined through the judiciary system. The adjudicator for this year's competition, AGSM curator Lucy Letterhandler, spoke about selecting the winning entries for the youth category and said, the question of whether or not an artwork is good is impossible to answer. Most often, it comes down to a feeling. Did the work grab my attention at first glance? How does it make me feel? Does it give me more the longer I look at it? Then there are simpler questions about skill and care, about how the picture is composed as far as light and dark, shape and line. In Pathway to Change, there was an extra layer to judging because of the captions that accompany each work, taken directly from the mouths of the artists. Those captions help me to understand the story that the artwork is telling, so I also care about how well the image communicates it. Journey Through Hell, which took first place in the youth category, also combines care, message, and artistry. The piece is unsettling, using odd angles and flat values to describe a curving urban street. Reading the caption, I was especially impressed by how all of those artistic decisions feed into the message behind the work, how frightening the world can be, and the road ahead, and how much bravery can come from love.